let's get to it. We're going to start with football, though, because it is Super Bowl week. We got Tampa Bay going up against the Kansas City Chiefs in the first ever home Super Bowl game. Uh, we didn't want to give our picks last week. I told you I didn't even know if I was going to be able to make a pick um, because of how torn I am with the, uh, with the with the scenario that's going on. But uh, we got to talk about this Super Bowl, man, because this is this this is going to be an ep- epic Super Bowl because we are literally looking at the passing of the guard at the quarterback position with the greatest of all time and Tom Brady. I mean, he may have another year or two left in him. Who knows, Tom Brady, he might try to stick around for even longer than that. But, you know what I'm saying, the future is here and it is now, and that is Patrick Mahomes, who is the best quarterback in football, maybe even the best player in football right now, uh, going into his second Super Bowl back-to-back uh, as the favorite, slight favorite. Um, but talk to me, man, what, what, what are you expecting to see? Before we get into our picks, what are you expecting to see in this game? I think it's going to be a very exciting game. As you mentioned, no matter what happens, it's the passing of the torch. Uh, Patrick Mahomes is the future of the league. Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time. Um, I'm expecting it to be a instant classic. The last time these two guys played in the playoffs and went to overtime with the Patriots being able to beat the Chiefs. That's also the only time Patrick Mahomes has ever lost in the playoffs. Um, Andy Reid is exceptional when he gets two weeks to prepare. Uh, That's always been his narrative. So that'll be interesting to see. and then I'm, I'm highly interested to see just the game plans. As you mentioned, Tampa Bay being the first hosting team to ever make the Super Bowl. Will it be a distraction for some of their guys? Because they got a lot of guys that are from the state of Florida. So will it be a distraction or will it be a positive that they got to stay home for two weeks and prepare for the game? Um, what, what can Bruce Arians and his staff cook up? Byron Left, which is a very good offensive coordinator. Does he have some tricks up the sleeves for this game? Eric the Enemy, who both we both felt was probably the hottest prospect coming in in terms of coordinators to get a head coaching job. He did not get a head coaching job. So does he kind of throw it, throw it in the league's face and say, this is what you were missing out on. And, and does he come up with something for that dynamic offense? So there's a lot of things I'm interested to see. Uh, yes, you're absolutely right. Um, and we, we definitely going to get to the Eric uh, the enemy discussion. I, you know, I text you uh, the other day, as soon as, as soon as I seen that last job uh, position get filled, and I said, up, oh, it's over. He's not going to get one this season. But if you can't get one this season, hey, listen, I, I'll still I'll still take being the, the OC on, on a back-to-back Super Bowl champion if you can uh, actually make that happen. As much as we would love to see Eric bien in a spot, um, you know, a couple of coaching hires uh, that were mind-boggling, one of them being the Eagles uh, head coaching position, where I'm just like, so I've never even heard of this guy. And he gonna get a job before Eric me enemy, but it's the Eagles, so I'm not even too too mad at that. You know what? Let 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 them mess it up if they if they want to. Um, but back to the Super Bowl, uh, I think this is this is going to be an offense powered football game on both sides of the ball. Um, I think Tampa Tampa is 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 eleventh right now in defense, um, and I think uh, in in and Kansas City is I think about 13, 14th in in the ranking. So. I mean, we're not talking about any of the top defenses, but we are talking about two of the most high-powered offenses. Uh, When you have all-pro wide receivers, tight ends uh, on both sides, you got some really good running backs, and then you got those those legendary quarterbacks uh, behind center. I think we're going to see a lot of passing the football mixed in with some runs, but, you know, I am looking forward to this. I don't know at this point who's my pick for – MVP no matter which team wins just because we could see Kelsey go off for 150 yards and two touchdowns same thing with 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 uh with Tyreek we could see him go off for 200 yards and a touchdown to two we can see Mahomes go off for three 400 yards we can see Brady go off for 400 yards Brady does have the record for most yards in the Super Bowl and he's home and he's got a lot to prove and then you got three all pro wideouts that he can throw to because Antonio Brown will be back and ready to go for the Super Bowl. Uh, so you can you can look forward to seeing him out there. But then when you add in Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, who made a couple of really amazing catches, uh, it, you know, a week and a week ago, in order to help get the Bucks to the to the Super Bowl. So it, this is just going to be an exciting game. I think the fans win. The fans absolutely win. Um, you know, 
again, the storylines, the the level of play from both these teams, even though Tampa didn't win their division, they clearly were one of the best teams in all the NFL this year. Kansas City was outstanding this year. They only really lost one game. The last game of the season to me don't count because they didn't play their starters. But other than that, they they had only lost one game. And then, you know, again, the, the Brady Mahomes factor, and you're right. It, whoever wins, the quarterback is probably going to be the favorite to win MVP. Outside of that, it would take um, – just a historical performance by somebody, whether it's one of the running backs having a great day, whether it's one of the receivers breaking some sort of record, but more than likely it's going to be the quarterback because both these teams are going to look to air it out. Yeah. Tampa Bay, as you mentioned, is a good defense, but their real strength is against the running game. Kansas City could care less about running the ball more than a couple of times, right? <laughs> Kansas City Kansas City may run the ball 10 to 12 times the whole the whole night. Yeah. So the, the Bucks' ability to stop the run means nothing to Kansas City at all. They, they're looking to air it out no matter what, and vice versa. Brady's going to have all his weapons fully healthy. Mm -hmm. The two weeks, I think, are, are going to serve great for Gronkowski. I think Gronk is the X factor for Tampa in this game. He's Brady's most trusted weapon. He's the guy he's gone to war with so many times. And with 60 minutes in front of them to go to, to win a Super Bowl, Brady's going to trust Gronk more than he trusts any other receiver or weapon on the field that day. Yes, and 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 they went back to the the legendary uh uh IG video <laughs> playing the bad boys for like <laughs> they're they're excited. I'm extremely excited to see this. The the boys are back in town, man. Uh, Brady and Gronk back together for another Super Bowl in another location. Um, have we have we put to bed the question of I guess who was more important or who had the bigger role in that in that whole New England Tom Brady versus Bill Belichick? No, I don't think we put it to bed. I think short term Brady has won the debate um, because obviously he's in the Super Bowl and Bill Belichick didn't even make the playoffs. But we can't discount or discredit the times that Belichick's scheme was able to help them win a game. And it, it showed up early in Tom Brady's career. You know, when they beat the Rams the first time, that was Belichick's defensive game plan to slow down what at that time was the greatest offense they had ever seen, the league had ever seen. And Belichick was it was influential in them beating the Rams the second time where they held the Rams to three points in the Super Bowl. So Belichick has had his moments as well where his game plan is what won the game. If Tampa wins, I think it, it closes the book on it because then it's like, all right, there's not much Belichick can do. But if they lose, and if they lose mainly because Bruce Arians gets out coached, then I think the conversation comes back up. But I think it's ultimately it's a silly conversation. We already knew Brady was the GOAT before the season, yeah. right? Like, this didn't cement Brady as the GOAT. He was already the GOAT before he went to Tampa. And in terms of NFL coaches, I, and because we want to keep it there, Belichick is the greatest NFL head coach ever. So I don't think there was much room for improvement for either one of these guys. Yeah, and it's crazy, you know, that we still, we still have that discussion because it's like they're both the GOAT. Belichick is the GOAT coach. Brady is the GOAT player. You know what I mean, but it, it, it's it's just a sports thing. We gotta we gotta have these kind of debates uh, going back and forth. But either way, it, the spotlight is on Tom Brady right now and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think this thing comes down to the why. It may even be one of those last possession games. Um, and 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 we we know that both of these guys are excellent in a two minute drill. <laughs> so either one of these guys is like, yo, you you better. I'm I'm giving a call to the defenses right now because I can't. You're not stopping either one of these offenses, okay? So you better hope at the end you can come up with with one big play or something like that that can can knock the opponent off because if Patrick Mahomes is healthy, Brady is healthy, the receivers on both sides are healthy, they come to play football and it's going to be a, a an offensive explosion. So defenses, you better just try something. <laughs> try on, on 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 the Chiefs side. You better try to rush uh, Brady, get a little bit of pressure on him. On the uh, on, on on the Buck side, you better try to get some pressure to Patrick Mahomes. You better try to keep him off the field as much as possible. Um, so I don't know if that means for Tampa that they may have to run the football a little bit more in order to help out uh, with with keeping Mahomes off the field because that's really the only way to stop Mahomes and that offense from scoring is for for Mahomes to not be on the field. Um, so with that being said, though, I guess let, let, let's, let's go into our picks. Eric, I don't know if you made your pick just yet, but I mean, we got it. We got the fans have been waiting for us. They, we, they gave us an extra week to get our thoughts together. Who are you taking? Yeah. So I'm taking Kansas city in a very close game. Um, 
Tom Brady has made me eat crow the last few weeks, though, because I, I didn't think they were going to be able to go to Green Bay and win that game. They did. He's get another. He got another opportunity to prove me wrong again. I think it's going to be a very close game. I just, again, as you said, a healthy Patrick Mahomes, healthy weapons. Andy Reid gets two weeks to prepare. And we saw what Tariq Hill did to the secondary when they played in the, in the regular season. Tariq Hill had 200 yards in the first half against yeah. that secondary. So mm-hmm. no disrespect to JPP and Indomitian Sue and, and, and Devin White. They've got a good defense. They have to get to Mahomes consistently. They, it just can't be from time to time. All game, they're going to have to be in the backfield hitting Mahomes because when he releases that ball, every time he throws that ball, we're expecting it to be a big play. And the first time they played, that's all we saw was big plays down the field. Kansas City had a big lead early in the game and kind of just let up the rest of the way. The score was closer than what the game really was because Kansas City jumped out on them very quick. Tampa Bay's got to do a better job in this game. I got Kansas City in a close game. And if I had to predict the score, I'm going to say it's it's somewhere in a range of uh, 30 to 24, 30 to 27. It's going to be a one score game. I think Kansas City wins. Okay, so now, and I got to tell you, know, once again, the reason I was so torn on this is because you guys know Brady is my favorite quarterback right now. I, 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 you know, Lamar Jackson is my is, is the new cat, you know, coming in. That's going to be my favorite to carry it on. Um, but it's, you know, Brady has been my guy for a long time. So anytime he's in a Super Bowl, unless he's playing against the Giants, I'm going for, for Brady to win. But in this particular situation, um, you know, I, it just... I, I cannot I can't go against the black quarterback just because of how much it means to to us you know what I'm saying for all the years that we were not allowed to play the quarterback position and to see how dominant the the black quarterbacks are in the NFL right now so I'm taking Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs in this one for the win I do think it's going to be a one score game because again I think it's going to be whoever has the football last. And um, so that's it. I'm going, this, this is my, this is, this be my first time in a long time picking against Tom Brady in a football game, but I had to do it. And uh, Patrick, don't make me look bad out here. Well, <laughs> well, Hey, as, as we said, if, if they lose this game, Tampa Bay, of course, mm-hmm. it is the ultimate passing of the torch. Yes. It's Brady and Mahomes both on the field sharing that moment of now was your league, bro. You know, I, I didn't, I didn't dominated the league for damn near 20 years. Yeah. Now it's your now it's your time to go ahead, um, you know, and 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 take over, and and we know that's already happening, but the symbolism of it being on the field with both those guys in a close game, and and I think you're right. I think it is going to come down to whoever can make the play late, or who might have the ball late. You know, who who can make the the key play late, but no matter what the score is in the first half, nobody should think that this game is over at any point until it officially strikes over because we've seen both these quarterbacks in Super Bowl situations. We saw it last year with Mahomes in the comeback and Brady has done it time and time again in the playoffs with the comebacks. Whoever is losing is not out of this game. Yeah, don't don't get yourself jammed up. Until it says 0 0 on the clock, <laughs> this game is, is definitely not over. Um, but again, once again, however you slice it, it's going to be a great Super Bowl. I'm excited. Um, I got my, my TV is ready to go. I got the new joint ready. I got my I got my my fantasy football trophy right in front of the TV right now. I'm excited. I got this is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought. Real 